Hey guys, welcome to Marcus Loves Movies and welcome to my Jolt movie review. This is a brand new movie that is available to watch on Amazon Prime Video in the UK and wherever you are in the world, I'm sure you can find a place to watch it. We are going to keep this review as short as possible. Let me give you a quick plot outline. A bouncer with an anger management problem goes on a revenge fueled rampage after the murder of a friend. It's directed by Tanya Wexler and it stars Kate Beckinsale, Bobby Cannavale, Laverne Cox, Stanley Tucci and Jai Courtney. Whilst I was watching this movie, I started thinking about the movie Crank, which stars Jason Statham. And if you've seen this movie, Joel, I think you know exactly what I mean, because there are a lot of similarities. The movie Crank was really stupid, a whole lot of stupid, but also quite entertaining, maybe a bit of a guilty pleasure. You know what that movie is. This movie seems a lot more stupid than the movie Crank. I recently reviewed The Tomorrow War, which I said was the kind of movie that a 12 year old would write. I actually think Joel is the kind of movie that a 15 year old would write. So yes, the writer may be a little bit older, but they're still writing a whole lot of ridiculous because it's like they've not learned to fully form an idea. They thought of something that seems quite fun, quite silly, quite stupid, and then thought, hey, let's turn it into a film because this will be really good. So Kate Beckinsale plays a character called Lindy who has this anger management issue and she has to attach these electrical things to her that give her a jolt of energy every time her anger starts boiling up. And if she doesn't control her anger, then she turns into a badass who will beat you to a pulp. It's almost like she has this superhuman strength, but we just know that she's got anger management issues. This film feels like the makers had a bunch of ideas about what would make really cool action set pieces and thought, let's just put them all into a film and we'll somehow link it together with a plot. And this just feels like it's set piece after set piece and none of them make any sense and none of them actually really need to happen so there's a car chase which happens early on in the film and it's the most pointless car chase ever it's like one character decides hey i'm going to run away from you so let's jump into a really cool car and let's have a car chase through the city there's also a chase through a hospital on foot and again it looks like hey this is an opportunity to do something that looks really cool we'll do this cool set piece and we'll try and make it look like it's one continuous camera shot but actually if you're a geeky filmmaker like me you're actually looking for the break so you can see those and there are a couple of scenes which are just flat out stupid and yet i know stupid has to exist in films like this because you've got to leave common sense out of the equation sometimes but for example there's a scene in a maternity ward where cops go in with guns and then a character responds in a way in this maternity ward when you think this is all just really stupid but Stupid, not to the point of this is silly and it's fun. This is just stupid, stupid. This wouldn't happen and it's actually a little bit annoying to watch. The two cops who were played by Bobby Cannavale and Laverne Cox are also really paper thin characters. One of them is really hell bent on shooting Lindy at every opportunity and the other cop clearly fancies her and is trying to help her but also protect her from the police. None of it really makes any sense. Overall, the payoff was nothing special. The there are hints at a potential sequel and if I'm being really honest I couldn't care less but hey it's a 90 minute movie it's not the worst movie I've seen this year so far certainly wasn't the best it does actually make me want to watch Crank again though so my official Marcus Loves Movies rating for the movie Jolt is two stars I think the script could have done with more of a jolt in the beginning but hey there you go can't even think of any clever puns really. Just my opinion. As always, I'd love to hear your opinion as well. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Give this video a like. And whilst you're here, please would you consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also hitting the notification bell so you're notified every time I release a brand new video. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Please stay tuned for the next movie review or trailer reaction or movie discussion video that I release. Hope to catch up with you again soon. So until then, take care of yourselves. And thanks for watching.